What's going on, yo? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. Welcome to the channel. If you're brand new, thanks for tuning in. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button when you're all done with this. But anyways, I just wanted to do a little video today on cleaning up the ZXT. It's very first foam bath and how I do it. It's pretty simple, but stick around. Alrighty, like I just said, this is the ZXT72 by Wright Manufacturing. No stranger to the channel. Uh, but today I wanted to give it a quick bath and you wanted to use the foam gun, uh, the foam cannon, okay? Uh, it makes this process really simple. Helps break down some of that uh, harder to get dirt, okay? So I just wanna show you real quick what I use. This is not a sponsored video. This is just what I use, all right? So let's check it out. So real quick, right here, I've got the foam gun by Slick Products and inside it, I've got their off-road wash. Uh, next up, I do use some, uh, like I get a little bucket of soap right there that I have already got together. Uh, and, I, and this is a product by Duragloss. It's actually made here local where I live. So not sure if you can get it where you're at, but anyway, this is some super good stuff. It's a car wash concentrate. And I just use a little, like little bug scrubber to get the front of the deck and some of the more uh, tougher spots. Okay, so um, I've done a, uh, a pressure washing video of the mowers on the channel before, but it was at the very beginning of the life of this channel. Um, so, but the first time for the ZXT. So I just want to show you how I go through this process. First, I will spray everything down. Um, then I will hit it with the foam gun, let that soak in for a few minutes, take the uh, soap with the little scrubby brush, get the front of the deck and any of the other more difficult areas, okay? Uh, then I will rinse it all off and dry it off. Pretty simple, okay? Alrighty, so uh, let's get this process started. So just got everything sprayed down. Now I'm going to put on the Slick Products foam gun. And it's got, this is not deferral product or whatever coverage, but it does have a dial here on the top so you can get the foam dialed in just like you want. It just controls the amount of water that goes through this thing. All right, you guys, so as you saw, got everything sprayed down, switched over to the foam gun and got it sprayed down. All right, so I just let this sit for, you know, it's not a rocket science, but anywhere from like probably three to five minutes. Let that soap get in there and break down any of that hard to get off dirt uh, and crap that gets on the front of the deck. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna hit it with a little scrubby brush. Thank you. 
face it. It ain't no sports car or classic car going to a car show. I'm just trying to get the big off, as they say. And if you stay on top of these cleanings, it makes it much, much easier at the end of the season. So, but we all know we get busy. Priorities change. Things get put on the back burner. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Alrighty, so it's been sprayed with foam, let it sit, scrubbed it, washed it, rinsed it off. That's it. Now it's time to dry it. So I'll just take my backpack blower and blow all the water off of it. And that'll be it. <laughs> And just like that, folks, the ZXT is clean enough for now. <laughs> um, you saw the process, very easy. I think it took me less than 30 minutes. And uh, like I said, if you stay on top of this stuff, stay on top of your maintenance, stay on top of your clean, blah, 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 uh, it's much easier on yourself in the long run, and it's a lot better on your equipment. Um, you know, I, I see a lot of guys post on social media and then hear, you know, uh, horror stories of stuff like, how stuff breaks down all the time and you know you see photos posted where they they lift the seat up or they pull the uh, deck pulley covers off and <clears throat> it's just crammed crammed with debris and and all sorts of which so you know paying attention to the stuff that earns you money and puts a roof over your head is just as important as you know the food that you put in your mouth if that makes any sense so um I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but anyways, take care of your stuff, man. Um, you know, I've been lucky and blessed over the years, last 12 years, that I haven't had a lot of the uh, mechanical failures that some guys have had, and I really think it's a testament to staying on top of preventative maintenance, and cleaning your equipment is one of them. Um, we'll preface that with, you know, you saw me pressure cleaning it, pressure washing it. I don't ever, like, get directly on it, like, really, really close. Um, some guys do that. They'll blow some stickers off and guess what? They get mad at the manufacturer. Hey, buddy, that was your fault because you don't know how to use a pressure washer. So stay back. Let the, you know, be patient. Let the let the pressure washer do its job. And, you know, it's, it's not a 100%, um, you know, effective tool. Sometimes you just still got to still gotta scrub a little bit. Okay, so just know what you're doing. Take care of your mess. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you all are having a wonderful Memorial Day. God bless you. Uh, to the God bless the families um, that have sacrificed the and paid the ultimate price to uh, make sure that we have the freedoms that we have every day. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here right now. So thank you. Love you. Um, hats off to you. God bless you. We'll see you next video.